Hey everyone, today's lesson from Health Ed Solutions is on acute coronary syndrome. Don't forget to visit us online at healthedsolutions.com to certify or recertify your ACLS, PALS, BLS, or NRP 100% online. Now, let's get started. Patients with chest pain signifying ACS will complain of retrosternal chest discomfort. Pressure or chest tightness is a common symptom. Pain can radiate to the shoulders, neck, arms, and jaw. Sometimes chest discomfort is felt in the back between the shoulder blades. They may also complain of lightheadedness, dizziness, syncope or near syncope, diaphoresis, or vomiting. A significant finding is sudden shortness of breath with or without chest discomfort. Some common differential diagnoses include aortic dissection, acute pulmonary embolism, acute pericardial effusion with tamponade and tension pneumothorax. The American Heart Association's STEMI chain of survival represents the actions of the responder in situations where the victim may be experiencing ACS. The links include rapid recognition and reaction to STEMI warning signs, rapid EMS dispatch, EMS transport and pre-arrival notification to the receiving hospital, rapid assessment and diagnosis in the ED or cath lab, and rapid treatment. This was developed keeping in mind the role of both family members and healthcare providers. The first link represents the interaction between the patient with ACS symptoms and the emergency dispatcher. Trained and deputized dispatchers can prescribe emergency medications over the phone. For example, dispatchers can recommend aspirin to ACS patients, but they should be able to diagnose the patient accurately through the phone and make sure that the patient has no contraindications to taking aspirin, such as allergies or gastrointestinal bleeding. That's it for our lesson today. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out our website at healthedsolutions.com for more free content or to get certified or recertified online.